I know prize picks is marketed to be very, very simple, as in just choose overs and unders and you can win money. Well, most people that are coming onto the app that are doing that are losing money because they don't know what they're doing. They're just choosing their favorite player or who they think is going to go off tonight. That's not the way you should be playing prize picks. I'm going to show you the real way to set yourself up, give yourself the best chance to win money playing prize picks. And one quick note before we do get started, I'm in a prize picks arena state. So my prize picks might look a little bit different than yours if you're in a regular prize picks state. Prize picks arena is a peer to peer uh, game mode of prize picks. So there's some slight differences in payouts and such, but essentially the same thing. So the advice I'm giving you guys today will work for either arena prize picks or regular prize picks. First things first, let's talk about how you actually play prize picks. You are to choose more or less on player projections and then you get a set payout based on how many legs you have within your prize pick slip. So if we have a two-man slip with Wimanyama and Nikola Jokic to go over their projections here, we are going to get a 3x payout. A three-man payout is going to get you a 5x return, and on regular prize picks, that's going to give you an option to either flex or power play. A flex play, if you go 3 of 3, will win you 2.25x, and if you go 2 of 3, you'll win one point. 25x. Uh, a four man flex play will win you 5x. Going three of four will win you 1.5x. And then for five mans on regular, and I'll quickly run through the arena payouts since they are slightly different, and then we'll talk about regular prize fix payouts in just a second. But for arena, if you add a third man, it's going to be a 5x return if you go three of three. For four, you are going to get a 10x return if you go uh, four of four. For five mans, you start to get a little bit of a flex play, the most you can at least in arena play. You're gonna get a 15X return for going five of five. And if you go four of five, you'll get a one X return, which is just your money back. And then the six leg prize pick slip, you are going to get a 25X return for going six of six. And then if you go five of six, you get your money back. If you go four of six, you also get your money back. That six leg slip is a very, very good slip type on prize picks. And now for regular prize picks payouts. I mentioned how a two man power play gets you three X return if you go two of two, but I didn't mention that power plays means you have to hit every single leg within your prize pick slip to actually win money. If you go O of two in a two man power, you win nothing. If you go one of two, you win nothing. That goes for the same for all of these power plays. For a three pick power play, you have to go three of three. And if you do, you win five X. If you miss any legs, you win nothing. For a four pick power play, the last power play option on prize picks, you would win a 10 X return if you go four of four. If you miss a leg, you win nothing. What are flex plays and what does it do to the payouts? Well, flex plays just mean that you can miss a leg or two within your prize pick slip and still have a chance to win money. Let's talk about it and break it down. We'll start from the smallest, which is a three pick flex play, where if you go three of three, you will get a 2.25 X return. If you go two of three, you'll win 1.25 X. For four pick flex plays, four of four would win you five X. Three of four would win you 1.5 X. Now five pick flex plays. This is a little different. Uh, five of five will win you 10 X. Four of five will win you two X, but you can actually miss two in this five picks flex five pick flex and you would get 0.4x your money back so you wouldn't win technically you wouldn't profit but you'd get some of your money from your entry back and then the last one six pick flex uh, if you go six of six you'll get a large 25x return five of six 2x return and then you could miss a second one in this as well and go four of six and you'd get a 0.4x return back so a little bit money of your entry back in your pocket. Now the different slip types that you can be playing on prize picks make a big difference when you're trying to make money playing this app. We'll touch more on that later, but just remember that your payouts will almost always be what I just mentioned. However, there are certain small reasons why uh, you might see a payout shift. One of those reasons being correlation. If I took Patrick Mahomes over pass yards and I paired him with his biggest target receiving wise in Travis Kelsey, right? If Patrick Mahomes goes over pass yards of 231 and a half, it's pretty likely that Travis Kelsey is going to be going over receiving yards as well. So prize picks knows that when these two plays are played together, they are more likely to happen. So they're correlated. Uh, so they are going to pay out shift you. You would only get a 2.5 X return instead of the typical three X on a two man power. If you were to play these and just in case you didn't know, you are not able to enter in a slip with only players from one team. You have to have at least 
two different players from two different teams in order to enter a prize pick slip. So if I wanted to play Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey in a two-man power, it would not let me enter the slip because I would need to add at least one person from a different team. However, another reason why I wouldn't want to enter this combination here, if I could, or in a larger slip, is because it has correlation. This is going to be one of the only reasons why you see a payout shift within your regular prize pick squares when you're building out slips, is if you have correlation. If you guys don't know what correlation is, it means if one thing happens, the other is likely to happen as well. So Patrick Mahomes, if we're taking him over 231 and a half pass yards and he goes over 231 and a half pass yards, it's likely that Travis Kelsey would be going over 63 and a half receiving yards as well, right? Because if Patrick Mahomes is thrown for that many yards, it's oftentimes going to Travis Kelsey. However, that's going to result in a payout shift. A two-man power would only give you 2.5x. Now, I know I just mentioned that you can't play just the same team, but if you added in multiple more players, it would still read that you had correlation within this game and payout shift you for whatever slip type you're trying to build. And now a little bit of a deep dive into the set prize picks payouts that will then parlay into me telling you exactly how to find the best value in which slip types to play on prize picks if you're trying to profit and actually make money long term. If you didn't know, these slip types have set odds for each individual leg within the prize pick slip. Uh, and if you don't know about sportsbook odds, sportsbooks odds oftentimes will change because the sportsbooks, uh, when money comes in on a certain player prop, let's say Patrick Mahomes over 231 and a half pass yards, if a bunch of sharp sports bettors are betting it, they might actually change the odds for the overs and unders, right, to adjust for that sharp money coming in. However, since prize picks is a set payout platform, they never change their odds. So you're always going to be getting these odds I'm mentioning as long as you're not receiving a payout shift. And let's start at the top with the two man power, three X return, as we've already mentioned, but you're going to get each leg at minus 136 odds, three man power at minus 140, a four pick power, 10 X return at minus 128 odds on each individual leg. And then for a five pick flex, you are getting these at minus 119 and a six man flex at minus 119 as well. And how did we figure this out? It's called math. There was math done based on the payouts for each of these slip types. This is what the odds you are getting for each individual leg is. And you're probably wondering, now what are these percentages next to each one? Well, 57.7% next to this two man power means that you need to be correct on your individual legs above 57.7% in order to be profitable long-term playing two-man powers. And then 58.5, 56.2 for these, but it gets even better. Playing five and six-man flexes are mathematically the best slip types to play if you're trying to be profitable long-term playing prize picks because you need to be right just above 54.2% of the time on your individual legs to profit long-term. So yeah, this might be shocking to you guys. Stop playing two-man powers, play five and six-man flexes only if you want to win money. It's right here in front of you guys. Why make it harder on yourself and have to be right 58% of the time on your individual picks, right? To be profitable playing two-man powers when you could be right almost 4% less at 54.2 plus percent and be profitable playing five and six-man flexes. Sports betting is already hard enough. Don't make it harder on yourself, make it easier on yourself. So now you know we're playing five and six man flexes on prize picks, but how do you find value that's going to help you win above 54.2% of the time? That's what I'll show you next. I use a website called Daily Grind Fantasy that's going to help you compare sports books, lines and odds directly back to prize picks, underdog, parlay play, fliff, better, all your favorite DFS apps to find the best possible value. But what's really clutch is it does all of the hard math on the back end to devig the lines and find the true fair odds percentage, also known as odds percent to hit, that these sports books are giving these actual player props to hit, right? So then all you need to do is find plays that are being given above a 54.2 plus percent chance to hit and play those in five and six man flexes on prize picks. But now I wanna show you examples on why this is good value when comparing sports books back to prize picks. We can see that Mark andre Fleury in the NHL is being recommended under 28 and a half saves on prize picks by the optimizers of Daily Grind Fantasy with a 55.83% chance to hit. But let's look at what the sports books have this at. Four different sports books have this at 26 and a half on their sports books, right? and FanDuel coming in at 27 and a half. Clearly, price picks is way off from where the market is establishing around 26 and a half. So you're getting 
two full saves of value by playing the under on prize picks and you're getting it almost at the same odds at minus 119 on regular prize picks and minus 116 on arena prize picks so you you're getting a really really good play with a high percent chance to hit so you want to get this in a slip and then right underneath that we can see travion henderson under 78 and a half rush plus receiving yards set to 78 and a half on prize picks but two other data points within the sportsbook market or DFS market as well, being underdog in Fliff, is set to 71 and a half, seven yards off from prize picks, but both agreeing this should be set to 71 and a half. Are you gonna trust prize picks or the two books that set these lines independently and agree that this should be at 71 and a half? It's clear again, prize picks is off. Here's two NFL examples. You can see Drake May was listed at 150 pass yards on prize picks. However, the rest of the market was closer to about 154 to 158. There was a few books that have this at 145 and a half being DraftKings and then uh, Parlay Play also at 145 and a half, but they are favoring this, heavily favoring this to happen at minus 212 odds and minus 185 odds. When you see these high minus numbers, that means these sports books are believing that these have a very, very good chance to happen. So they are favoriting these plays to happen. We are getting this at minus 150, right? So off from the rest of the market. And we're knowing that this has a good chance to hit just kind of based on where these odds are at for minus 145. And then after the math is done on the back end of Daily Grind Fantasy, we see this is a 54.66% chance to hit. So that qualifies as a good play on prize picks and we can get that in our five and six man flexes. And now just underneath them, Kirk Cousins over one and a half passing touchdowns. Obviously, we don't see a difference between the actual projection of one and a half on prize picks and one and a half on the rest of the books. But where the real difference is, is in the payouts, in the odds. We are getting minus 119 odds, as I've already mentioned in those five and six man flexes for our individual legs. However, the sports books all have this average odds of about minus 141. So they are saying this has a good chance to hit based on how they are setting these odds. Prize picks, however, leaving it up at minus 119 odds, it's basically saying they have they believe it has a lesser chance to hit. So who are you gonna believe? The seven, eight sports books we have here as data points or prize picks? Remember, sports books use them as data points trust them because these are all multi-million dollar companies that have algorithms and models setting these lines and odds and they're way smarter than us so i promise they know what they're doing they're profitable for a reason so trust the sports books trust the data points and play these plays that are heavily favored on the books on prize picks at way better odds and a better bang for your buck think about it like you're shopping for a car you want to find the car that you want at the best possible price or deal that you can find you search all the dealerships around you for that Tesla you're wanting, right? And you see that four dealerships have it at $35,000, but then the dealership that's 10 minutes further has it at $32,000. You'd be out of your mind to buy it at one of those other dealerships at 35,000 when you could get it for 32,000. It's the same thing when you're shopping in these sports book odds, right? Find where one book has, or where all the books have a price way the heck up here and where you can get it way down here right? Because over the long term, that's going to create profit, just like you would be creating profit by saving $3,000 just going up the road to buy it at that other dealership. Hopefully all of this is clicking for you guys, but I can make it one step easier with AI. Daily Grind Fantasy actually has an AI slip generator that will line compare and find the best value for you. Just like I was trying to show you guys how you could manually scan the odds and find value. But AI has line comparing technology that's going to do that for you on the back end and then just spit out full slips for you to tail and it's extremely simple. You can see the tool is actually very, very profitable. It is up over 2,050 units right now since launch of last year. However, let me show you how easy it is to use. If we scroll down, we can see the slips that the tool is recommending and you know that you can trust all of these slips that they are long-term profitable slips because it's doing exactly what I showed you, but a heck of a lot faster than us having to do it manually and line compare and stare at that odd screen. For instance, if you wanted to play on prize picks, we see, oh, look at that. There's a six flex on prize picks. All we did was reveal the slip. We'll click this bet on prize picks button. And what it's going to do is load up this slip right into our prize picks account. And then all we simply have to do is type in how much we want to play it for. We just sub submit lineup, 
and boom, it's going to enter in this slip in less than 10 seconds was that? It's easily the most easiest and profitable tool to use in the market right now. AI is taking over. I mean, you could put your hands up and just simply tail all of these AI slips and it takes you maybe five minutes, 10 minutes out of your entire day rather than staring at an odd screen trying to do this yourself. It's making life a lot easier and a lot more profitable. If you wanna check out any of the tools from Daily Grind Fantasy, I'll leave a link down in the description below, but if you use code DUSTINDGF, you'll get 25% off your very first month. Boom, we turned you from a dummy to a profitable dummy. No, I'm just kidding, but I really do hope this video helped you guys learn that price fix easy on the surface, but there is a little bit more you can learn about it to help set yourself up for profitable success by having a tool like Daily Grind Fantasy that can really help you compare these sportsbooks lines and odds back to price picks to find the best value and give yourself a good chance to profit. But uh, if you guys have questions, feel free, leave them down in the comments. I will answer your questions. Uh, if you guys can drop a like on the way out of this video, I would appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. We post sports betting content like this every single week.